Yo, what's up, guys? I'm gonna be showing you a simple fix here to to show you how to uh, get your NBA Street V2 working on using PS2 emulator. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. It's really simple, actually. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to your plugin settings. You want to uh, go down here to configure and make sure you have MSAA on four times. And uh, yeah, that should be good. The only downside of this though is it'll make it smooth but you may have to drop your resolution I usually play on 1080p but I drop it down to 768p just so that way I can get a constant 60 frame rate uh, 720p uh, should be good for most of you guys out there I mean I'm not even on anything special I'm on a 660 Ti so once again just play around with your resolution and four times AA and uh, NBA Street V2 should be working just fine for you I'll actually show you some uh, so you some gameplay in a second. Oh uh, yeah, guys, I completely forgot to tell you. Um, well, I mean, it's not that big. Just uh, make sure in your uh, advanced settings, if I can find it. Oh yeah, make sure that multi-threaded VU is disabled. Depending on your CPU, I'm on an i5. Actually, I'll just leave my whole PC specs in the in the description below. But uh, make sure this is all like make sure this is all set up correctly. And this has to be has to be off, otherwise the game will hang completely for you. Um, yeah, nothing else special. Widescreen 720p. Leave all the rest of this shit default. I have no idea what it does, but if you touch it, something it'll make it slow as a bitch. Um, yeah. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> I know you're playing in the game right now, I'm on the mic, but that don't mean nothing. 